Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. The situation on the Bitcoin chart hasn't really changed since the last video. So let's just take a quick look at the daily chart first for anybody who's new on the channel. The idea is still that um, of the 11th of December, September low, we are looking for a five wave move to the upside in both of the scenarios that we're tracking. There's one scenario in, which is highlighted in white which should take us more directly to new all-time highs with only shallow pullbacks. And there's one in which we should get a deeper pullback, but also in a corrective format, which means it will still be part of a bullish market, just a deeper pullback in a so-called B wave. But ideally, they don't occur yet. Ideally, we are going to go a little higher first to $50,000 plus before either wave four in white, which is the shallow pullback, or wave B in yellow, which is the deeper pullback occurs. So there will be a clear support area and we will be able to distinguish between the two. I'm going to lean towards the white structure until support breaks, but bottom line is both are possible. I would treat a deep pullback in a B wave as a gift. You might not, some people will, most people will I assume, but it depends essentially on how you're structured, you and your portfolio. If you have too many aggressive longs open, yeah, you might not really embrace that opportunity. But if you have prepared, have a little bit of cash available and you're waiting for pullback opportunities, that might be one. It's just not guaranteed. That's not how the markets work, right? So that means there is one more high expected. We might already be working on that one more high. However, <clears throat> the situation is that we could still be in this wave four. So wave one, wave two, wave three, this wave four could still be in the making before the wave five starts. There is, or there have been rumors around, you know, the ETF approval and it might come as early as today. I don't know if that is true or not. We'll see. Only rumors so far. Um, how, mu how much, you know, how much substance there is to them? I don't know. You know, we'll see. We'll see. We have to see. But obviously, if something happens, it will lead to a lot of fluctuations. So prepare for increased volatility in the coming days, okay? What that means for you, only you can decide and you, you know, depending on your portfolio, if you have a lot of aggressive longs open or shorts or whatever, if you have a lot of risk in your portfolio, then just be aware that you could be thrown out of a lot of trades. You know, if, if some of the, if this news event hits, which probably will between now and the 10th of January at some point, then just be aware there can be a lot of distortions and fluctuations on the chart short term that might not affect the long term but short term and even in a scenario where there might be a you know buy the rumor sell the news event which means in simple terms we're going to see a little bit of a sell-off as a result of that announcement because the anticipate anticipation built already before the event most people who think the etf will be approved already have a position okay um so it is possible that we get this sell the news event well it could still be covered by our c wave in wave four regardless the main support for now remains at thirty four thousand sixty dollars with one more high to come if that one more high is unfolding right now or if it comes after the c wave that will be decided on the shorter time frame now let's take a look at the shorter time frame this is the one hour time frame and you see here the ABC structure with a potential of a high B wave. Bitcoin isn't really coming down. So the white structure that we talked about in the last couple of days is one that at the moment could be followed, but Bitcoin needs to form another four five pattern to complete, to fulfill a complete diagonal. Not a very, aggr um, not aggressive, but not a very, not a very favorable or interesting pattern to trade in my opinion. Um, but essentially this fifth wave could take us to or close to 50k. The situation is first of all that we need to look into the question if the white count or the yellow is playing out. Now depending on how you want to play this but there is $40,259 as key support. So that is what I mean with the, the hourly chart will decide that or the 30 minute chart but the hourly uh, is, is now on. So basically it means with a break below that level, it would confirm 
that the sea wave down is unfolding, or at least it would uh, suggest it with a, with a good likelihood that the sea wave down is unfolding because then this wave four would go down too low to be reliable. Um, in addition to that, we have to look into the question if, so that, that question is answered, if the wave four has actually started, and that's a little bit unclear. I think it could have started, especially with the latest week down, and because Bitcoin is struggling with that ascending trend line, but I would le like to see a more substantial one. Um, until then, it is possible that, for example, here we get one more high in this C wave. One, two, three. Yeah, this is another one, two, three, four, five, four. And we might get one more high in wave C. I did explain that in the last video. Possible next upside resistances and targets are 46,480 and 47,255. This is possible one more high, okay? But if we see a break below yesterday's low, which is at 44,603, and we break below the A wave high, which is just below that, then I think we are in the wave four, and then it will depend on the bull's ability to hold a higher low if they can help, uh, or if they can, yeah, help the price towards another higher high, which would then be probably in the region around that 200% extension level or a little higher. And we'll see if it is enough to get to um, to get to 50K. Um, it's not very clear yet how the patterns would evolve overall, but the next major FIP level is at 50K. And be aware that on the daily time frame we've already reached here the next FIP level, but the 50K level is the more relevant FIP level. Here we have the 88.7 FIP level at 46,166. The price is currently consolidating just below that level. Yeah, and I think that is sort of at the moment what we can uh, highlight about Bitcoin on the daily as well as the hourly time frame. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. And if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as regular updates about stocks, then check out our S&P 500 service. You'll find the link directly below the video. Thank you. Bye-bye.